so okay let's see let's see what the color will look like look at the color we started with it's phenodafling did you see that wow did you see that so which means that look at something which means that at this first point did you get that at the first stage the whole of this has been used but half of this have been used how do i know that half of this is used I will use another indicator. Did you get that? Half of this is used. And that's right. So let's let me check. Let me check this. Let me check this. 22, 21. Okay, 20.10. 20 Did you get that now? So at the other end point, I have 20.10. Did you get that now? So at the other end point, I have 20.10. I will continue again from there. But now I will add melty orange. Do you see where the double indicator addition came from? So I'm adding two. One. Two. Did you see? Which means there is a base still remaining. That's why when I added my melty orange, it's changing to yellow. Because that's the color of melty orange in base. Which means there is still some amount of base here. Which means I still have half. Did you see? I still have half of this. That's why it's showing yellow. Then let's complete the titration now. So now complete it to call what we call a double indicator titration. So let's see this now. So let's go. Let's check it. Did you see the color change? <laughs> Chemistry is interesting. Did you see the color change now? From yellow, did you see the color change? So let's check 20, 25.10. Did you see that now? So, which means at melty orange endpoint, I have 25.10. I don't know if somebody is still getting this. Did you see? Okay, so who, who finish all this? I will explain. Let's do the second titration. Let me review. Did you get that? Because you know, I'm having a double indicator, so I don't want to start from there with the field. So let me make all my initials to be zero, zero. Did you get that? Let me do the third one too, so that you can see how it looks like. Then, if I've gotten these two, then we can have finish up with that thing. So let's get started again for the second one. Let me review. This is my acid. Where's my funnel? Did you get that now? Okay. So, and that's how interesting it is. If you are just watching this YouTube channel for the very first time, can you subscribe to this channel? Because there are a whole lot of exciting videos that we are still going to be uploading. So if you are new to this channel, okay, so this is our zero mark. Let me throw this away and pipette another one. Okay. So let me pipette another one, 25, and I'll do it for the third time. Just to show us. Okay. Perfect. Let's drop it. Okay. I want to believe we are getting this. Yes, it's, you know I told you from the beginning of the video that it's going to be interesting. Okay, so don't forget, what did we start with? I hope you have not forgotten with our phenol taflin. So let me do that. Two drops. One, two. Did you see the color? Don't forget, on the zero. So let's go again. So let's be very fast. You know, we already know the average now. There is no need to waste time. When it's getting there, I will just I already know the average to be around 20. What's that? Around 20. So when it's there. But focus on this, please. 
Let's shake very well. Let's shake it. Okay, let's take a little. Did you see that now? Did you see it? Colorless. Let's check. Okay, I'm seeing 20, 20.00. I'm seeing 20.00. Okay, I'm seeing 20.00. Right? So, can I continue with what? With our melty orange. Did you get that? So, one. So, so the material is telling me that I still have some base here. That's why I still change into yellow, which is the color of material base. So, if you continue, I see the color change. So, and that's the reason why all these things are very interesting. You have to do them. We believe in practical on this channel. Did you see that? Changing from yellow. Did you see that? Because if you continue titrating, it will deepen the color. And you might not get accurate light and value. So, since the first change in color is what I'm recording. Did you get that? So, let me check. 25, 1, 2, 25.00. Okay? 25.00. Did you see that now? Let me take the last one. Since I wanted to do three, so let me take the last one. I want to believe you understand the titration. Did you get that now? I want to believe you understand the titration now. So, let me do the third one now. And that will sum it up for the titration. And I believe, so if you're a teacher, you want to carry this out, you need to prepare the solution well. That's the first thing. I can always reach out to us. I'm going to drop a, a link in the comment box section. Get that so that if you have issues with preparing standard solution, we, can, we are here to always help out. Okay? Still on zero. I want it to be on zero. So I need to release a little so that I can have zero. Okay. Good. So this is sorted now. Let me straighten this so that I don't have problems here. Okay, so don't forget that I'm titrating this again. Just same thing we did three times, and the reason why we did that is for accuracy. The reason why we did that is for Accuracy. I want to believe you are enjoying this particle. Yeah, it has a double indica indicator titration. Call it a double indicator. We have already explained why it is a double indicator titration. So, that's the third one. Let's do it carefully so that we can have a coherent value, which is interesting. So, we start with this. Do you see that? Just two drops. So let's go. Still at zero. So let's go. So this is the third one. I hope you're following. 